So we're there, Red Friday, but I want to talk about the Royals a little more. Some fans around the Metro have been doing some incredible things, gearing up for not only the World Series, but a lot of them, Nick, I think you will back up this sentiment, have been believers and supporters, unlike Mark, who gets on the bandwagon here and there, for a long time. I'm just honest. Including TJ Jackson. This is something he built earlier in the season in his household. It looks like it might be his sports wow. room. Wow! Look at this thing. He built a replica of the old Crown That's Vision cool. in his basement. Sports TV? For that a television to broadcast all the games. That's his family there. They're huge Royals fans, lifelong Royals fans. But here's the deal. He used chalkboard paint underneath the television there. Right. Mm -hmm. That's the score oh, from the 1985 goal. World Series. Oh. The last time they won. That, okay. was, that was Game 7. Game it said 11 to nothing. Yes. And that was the final score of Game 7. He is so hopeful that he will be able to erase the chalk and put it in the score for the Love World that. Series cool. win. So anyway, TJ... Kudos to you, buddy. He's the uh, events planner, I believe, at Life 88.5, and I was tipped off to him by Melanie and Wayne, who do the morning show there on the station. That awesome cool. setup. I mean, that's like the man cave ultimate. Yeah. Royal I don't think they ever got a contest. I know. The big 42 is TV. That's excellent. I sent Melanie an email. Well done, sir. Well done. <laughs> that's a true blue fan. Yes. Thanks. All right. Hey, uh, I know you talked about this.